Budgie bird and one with budgie birding fun. Budgie bird and one with lots of budgie fun. Oh yeah, you got to this too. <laughs> Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, Budgie Breeder One here. This video is gonna be very hard for me because I've never seen anything like this a day that I've had budgies. I know that it happens, but I've never ever witnessed it before. So um, yesterday, after I went on the walk, I came back and I find that Sky is in my room yelling. And I found her and I'm just going to show you. Uh, I found her screaming down in this um, dish right here. You call it Ernie. And I'm just going to show you the next right now. I found her screaming in this bowl in this corner and I felt all these blood stains everywhere like literally everywhere in this cage and they don't have paper towel because they eat it and got it that's why they don't even burn the paper so I don't put any paper towel down anymore and then I see that this blood stains on the perches up here and the culprit is is cotton. Cotton and Ernie have been breeding. Well, they've been mating in the cage. I, I didn't set up their breeding box yet because Sherbert and Splash are on eggs right now. And I was going to do, as soon as they got off, I was going to let Ernie and Cotton breed or somebody breed with Cotton because her hormones have been off lately and I should have realized it before I just kept Sky in the cage because they used to fight like a long time ago over breeding boxes and I guess that Cotton saw an arrival in Sky, so she just attacked Sky, and Sky is old like she's very old like alright they're just finding out Sky is old and she she don't she she don't like to fight because like she's getting old. And plus she has a tumor, so I guess that's where her energy is going on. She's getting drained out of energy because of that tumor that she has on her abdomen. And so they they was fighting yesterday when I came in and Sky was just laying right there. Now I'm just gonna go outside because I know they're gonna be trucking out. And I just want to show you for like clear sunlight and I just gotta get this video out because I feel like this is important than all my other videos and I am making videos so but this one I gotta walk to my cousin's house to upload it because something's wrong with our Wi-Fi and that's why I haven't been posting but I'm about to show you guys so you guys like screams and try to touch her and I'm trying so hard not to cry because y'all y'all don't want to hear me cry like she screams and try to touch her like her foot I'm trying to get her so you can see it better than me. I don't even want to mess with her right now yo but I feel like you guys need to see this maybe you can learn from it I really love this bird and I feel like I did not get them back for this. I got her back in 2016 from a girl named Amanda. She helped me get Sky and Rocket and Ruby back and I just feel like I let them down because I've had them since 2012, 13. And like they've been with me for like a long time and to see this this just breaks my heart because it's just so devastating and I know she's in a lot of pain and I can't I couldn't imagine going to this so 
I'm just gonna take her out. She can't fly away because she can barely even see. Okay, she doesn't want to be taken out. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. Like, this is the top of her head. This is her eye. I don't know if you can see that. And she has a black stain right there. You guys, I cried all last night, so I don't think I can cry anymore. And I don't want to. That's her other eye. The tumor on her abdomen caught and end up managing to bite it in a little pus, pus or something came out of it and I know she's in a lot of pain. Her back toe is bent up. I don't know if you can see it. Not that one. Her toes have been bleeding. Here's her other eye if you didn't see it. She can barely open them. And I just feel like I want to put her down because I want I want to put her down because I I want to put her down because I don't, I don't, I know she's going into a lot of pain right now, and I don't, I feel like she's not going to make it. That's what I feel. But guys, I don't, I can't talk. So this is like the end of the video, but I was basically just trying to say like Sky and Rocket and Ruby are like so legendary to the channel. Ruby died of course, but um, I've had them since 2012 going into 2013 and I feel like if something were to ever happen to them, I, will, I would want something to look back at and I think people should look at this too because maybe they can learn from it. I don't know. But I just really want to put Sky down right now because I know she's in a lot of pain and she can't see out of her eyes. She can barely see out of her eyes. She has gashes on her head. Her feet is, her toes are like basically cut off one of them and like the tumor of course so it's like every every two to three months something always happens it's like when will it ever end so i don't i just don't know what to do anymore and cotton i can't look at kai the same anymore because of what she did so kai will be going to a new home pretty soon um I'm ready for the negative comments because I know there's going to be some um, and I'll keep you guys updated on Skype.